Well, it turns out one month later, this channel is generally going worse and is generally trying to summon people over making videos that was literally only five seconds long. Why did she decide to literally full strike a channel that only made a video that was only five seconds long? Because she thought it was doxing somehow, even though it made no goddamn sense whatsoever. She showed her face in her goddamn reaction videos before this video happened, so it's public information. Why I'm still covering her face? Because like I said, she is trying to strike videos down. This person that made the 5 second video is lucky that he got it back. Well, pretty much Fox is basically saying, yes, this person deserved to get silenced, even though he did absolutely almost nothing wrong. Well, yes, the guy literally made a bunch of videos on Foxy the Fox and literally made fun of her, but that's about it. What the bishop could have done is reported for spam, not going down a privacy complaint. That is completely ridiculous. And still, the guy is literally earning absolutely nothing over spamming making videos on you. So what do you want to do? Make you hate them worse over silencing someone that is literally clearly making fun of you and does not affect you whatsoever? Well, yes, yeah, she did make an apology in her community post, but she's saying, I hope everyone Everyone forgives you. Like, what? You're basically trying to silence someone that only made a video that is like five seconds long. Almost nobody is gonna forgive you at all. She is saying that she's no longer making rants or commentaries, which is probably the only good thing she'll probably do because she has an intellectual disability. This is why you don't let an intellectual disability person do goddamn commentary. And that's based on if she follows her word. And they expect people to take her seriously when she makes stuff like this. I basically linked a video in my Discord server because it's gonna be forgotten almost instantly. It didn't mention my channel name whatsoever, and it barely got any goddamn views, like below a hundred, while my video got over a thousand views. Basically, let's just check this girl for response and see what her quote unquote defenses are with it. If something good content to them or not. Learn how to handle opinions, please. Okay, where the hell is your entertainment value in your videos? You essentially screen record and not to even bother downloading the video and not even bother edit. Yeah, I'll get to that later. And also, most importantly, if someone has an opinion they don't like you, you try to silence them and false strike them or false report them. I did not get offended, dude. Then why the hell did you respond to my vid over a blatantly obvious god awful channel then? There's no other reason aside from you're offended and trying to start drama with me. And also, a friend of mine made me the intro. And also, my friend Jeffy is the one who made me the intro. It was last year. And so you're actually admitting it's actually worse. You literally admitted you can't edit. Because you basically told your friend, Oh look, Among Us and literally two watermarks there. And very slow frame rate with a god awful spaceship animation is somehow a good bloody intro. If I had a friend and sent that as an intro, I would not even use it in my videos whatso goddamn ever. You shouldn't be talking trash about people's intros, dude. You did not even credit the person who made that intro. I thought you made it. And still, even if you did credit it, it's a god awful intro, plain and simple. It is basically not, it's just an opinion. The majority of people that knows right and wrong and know what's enjoyable or not will tell you it's a god awful intro. Because over a thousand people would rather watch my rant video on you rather than your 96 view response. What? Not everybody's good at editing, you know. You've been on YouTube for two years. Like, there's YouTube tutorial videos on how to goddamn edit, or even download a goddamn video. Anybody's making you look bad. It's yourself. You're making yourself look bad. Says the one you thought was a good idea. False striking or false reporting a video that has five seconds. Foxy, you're the one who's literally making yourself look worse. You're basically starting a drama with me for literally almost no goddamn reason. And you have shown no evidence whatsoever that I did anything wrong. Like, no evidence. I get you probably want you- I get that you want your audience to hear what you're saying. But can you please talk a little quiet there because you're talking way too loud. One, this is a rant video, not an exposed video. If this was an exposed video, you see people that are way more damn quieter. Second, turn down the damn volume. This is the internet. You can easily do that. Almost nobody's going to be quiet on you unless they use text-to-speech where they basically you silencing someone that over a five-second video. Well, I have something to say, say, about, say for the video at the moment. Chill out. And that's the reason of literally someone not finishing my goddamn sentence whatsoever. I was literally speaking and trying to like pause it at a random time and said random nonsense that no one's going to take seriously whatsoever. Basically, I'm speaking in Foxy the Fox 110 logic. She basically paused the goddamn video. 
And she do not listen to the entire sentence of what I was speaking because she want to make this goddamn weak point of oh, chill out. Actually, he does edit. He's actually better at editing than I am. There is absolutely no competition there whatsoever. Your intros is made by one of your quote unquote friends or somebody else, and you essentially watch the video in one go and then just say random nonsense lines that basically does not debunk anything, and you show absolutely no evidence, no proof, no nothing. Um, there's only some criminals, dude. I literally said in that video, I made that as a joke. You literally watched me say it's a goddamn joke. It wasn't even supposed to be taken seriously. But the Spanish flea was literally playing over that joke video. Like, I know this person didn't even bother looking up what the meaning of goddamn doxy means. So look up the meaning as a goddamn joke or edgy jokes, at least. In people, blame on people that's, that's more hated. Do I need to repeat the line again? Emoji Marble is the most hated person I've seen in quite a while like now. Like how the hell can you like, I don't know, someone claiming I'm a quote unquote predator with no god of evidence whatsoever and no proof over making fun of someone that was straight up screen recording their own PC screen. Or claiming, oh, you don't brush other people with warm marks. I did with Queen Pompey a freaking year ago. And also admitting to goddamn lying throughout the entire goddamn video over that freaking text he added in. Says the one who hates people just because of the content. Which is an invalid reason. It's not invalid. I literally showed you a video when people were scamming people in Bloxburg. How the hell is that invalid? That video I showed you is taken down. Well, make it fun of somebody is cyberbullying. This is the definition of cyberbullying. I have said nothing that intimidates or threatens you whatsoever. And also, most importantly, you're an, an adult. Cyberbullying should not affect you anymore. Somebody with autism is really. Is really wrong. Okay, so by Foxy's logic, Frenzy Bites, you can't make fun of him, even though he has literally done creepy goddamn stuff and should not be on the internet anymore. Like, autism does not justify god awful content. And in Frenzy Bites' case, where he did stuff that is illegal, no, there's no justifications for what he did. Not even autism. Because based on the internet, what it's showing me, if you're 7 or 15, based on which state you are, at minimal, you know right and wrong. Frenzy Bite is 20 years old. There is no justification if you basically think, oh yeah, my godful content with a majority thinks it's terrible and you decide to keep doing it for freaking years. It's not justified with autism. Autism gives you a developmental disorder, not literally completely shuts off your brain where you don't know right or wrong. Under the age of 13, you can start a YouTube channel. As the key of the parents. It does not matter if the parent basically says, Oh, look, someone below 13 could have a YouTube channel. Okay. That does not matter. Having a YouTube channel below the age of 13 is against YouTube's TOS and can get you terminated. This rant sucked. This is one of the absolutely worst rants on me that I've ever seen. Yes, the worst rant you've ever seen when people would rather watch that and has over a thousand views rather than your 96 view video. That was god awful. Anyways, let's check if she's gonna still not do commentary and keep her mouth shut. Or trying to take this video down. Anyways, outro, and thanks for your patience for watching.